Hey guys! Okay, so it's been a long time. Actually, this is my first live YouTube video. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I wanted to hop on real quick because I wanted to um, show you guys my Easter tablescape before Easter was over. <laughs> I did a blog post on my Easter tablescape and it did really, really well. Everybody really loved it. And I just kind of find time to do a video to film it and edit it and all that good stuff. So I decided to just come on here live and show you my Easter tablescape and to just catch up with you guys. And another reason why I didn't show you make a video of it is because this room is a disaster. A lot of you know that I started my um, homemade luck subscription box this past year. Um, and this is my dining room is the room I store like everything in. So the dining room is a hot mess, but this is my subscription box homemade luck. Um, it's a craft subscription box um, and it has taken over my life and my dining room. So <laughs> it's been hard to film in here. But, you know, I realize that a lot of times we as bloggers always show you guys these gorgeous, beautiful rooms and that is not real life. <laughs> in real life, our rooms can be messy behind the scenes just like yours and mine definitely is. This room is now... Um, my storeroom for excess inventory for my subscription box and so it's a mess but my actual table looks pretty good so <laughs> I am gonna show you that now and just give you some tips on creating your Easter tablescape you still have a little bit of time so let us do this okay so this is my Easter tablescape and there is all my crap we'll just ignore that right so <laughs> So this is my Easter tablescape this year and it is very, very budget friendly. So I just wanted to um, just give you a few tips on how to make yours as well. So first things first, I love, there, there is the table runner. And it's actually not a table runner, it's actually gift wrap paper. And I love using gift wrap paper as um, my table runner because you can do so much with the different styles, colors, and for cheap I actually got this this one from the dollar store so it was a dollar from Dollar Tree um, so and I like the plain white because I knew I was gonna do a lot of different greens and I think the white just makes all the different greens pop this year so that's my first tip explore gift wrap paper you that way you can experiment with colors patterns textures all that good stuff so that's my first tip next I used these table mats and these are also from Dollar Tree. These are just some beautiful green table table mats. Um, and they bring some texture to this, this shiny white. And um, I think it, it makes it look pretty nice. Um, the next thing I did was these rattan chargers. Again, layering um, with different um, textures is always good. So there's the brown on top of the green. And then I added a second charger, which is this one. And the rattan chargers are from like Pier One or something. It was, I got it for a wedding gift years and years ago, nine years ago. <clears throat> so, um, and then these, I got these at Michael's. They were on sale. Um, okay, so regular $4.99. So I got 50% off. So $2.99 for these chargers. It's a pretty good deal. And then I just put these white plates which I love I love the shape of these plates and I've seen these types of plates at Z gallery for obviously a lot of money um, but I found these ones at Walmart they're very similar um, a little smaller but I really really like the style of these and then I just folded my napkins into little bunnies to put on top and I love to do that um, give the napkins something you know something cool um, and I have a tutorial on how to do that on my YouTube channel and on my blog of course so the other things I have around that um, are these. These are like my favorite find this year. These are from Dollar Tree. These are gold uh, little bunnies and they are so adorable. So I got six of them to go around the table and I just put um, used uh, markers to put names on them. So I'm going to use this for our, um, you know, the names for the name for, for the name place cards, I guess you call them. So that's what I'm using. And then I have these, these are vintage. These are my husband's grandmother's uh, ice cream bowls. And I, I just love using old pieces with the new pieces. And then here are green from Dollar Tree. Um, these are from Z Gallery, I really love them. And I always try when I'm doing my tablescapes, here's another um, tip, to make the 
the head heads of the table different in some way so here we have the white charger but i have gold chargers on the ends which go well with the gold bunny so we're kind of bringing in the gold that way and just for your entire table i always like to make the head table head of the table different so i have different chairs even for my head of the table if you guys can see why i went with green this year because we have a green uh, rug so it just really looks good in the room um so yeah always make your the head of your table a little bit different um so i have the gold um over here just the middle here what i did here was i took like just a regular white glass bowl and i put some white easter eggs inside and i like using the white on the white um because if i did those multicolored um those multicolored ones it looked kind of cheap number one and I think the white eggs are just kind of a little bit elegant. So I did that. And then on top of it, I placed a juice dispenser. <laughs> and that's another tip to use something a little bit different to um, for your flower arrangements or whatever. Um, this is just a, a juice uh, dispenser. Um, I just took the top off of it. And then I placed some flowers inside of it. And that gave it the look that I was going for. So think outside the box. You don't have to go out and buy a new vase or anything like that. Just think about how you can reuse the things that you already have. So I just put some white flowers in there and I put these long dangling ones to kind of give it a little bit more texture and make it look more custom. So that's that. Um, these little bunnies, I love these. These little moss bunnies. You guys know I'm into moss right now. Um, these I found from the Target dollar spot. So I think they were either a dollar or three dollars, one of the two. Um, these are old. These are I got those when I was antiquing with my cousin and my aunt. And these are from Dollar Tree. These are these those little green Dollar Tree vases. And I just put just a one stem flower. I don't even have the stem attached. I just put it on top so you can't see a stem through the glass. Um, these I also got from the Target Dollar Spot, and I love them because they open up. They're just so adorable, and you can put condiments in there for your Easter dinner or whatever. And these were also from the Target dollar spot. These were sets. So, and then here I use this little, um, this little dish and I just put some green moss. The moss is from Dollar Tree and some mini glitter eggs, again from Dollar Tree, inside of this uh, just to make some little Easter nest. And I use that as some extra decor on the table. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you a quick overview of my Easter table, even though my dining room is a hot mess. Um, let me show you back here too. This is where I would put like my coffee bar. I just transitioned it from, uh, I guess you would say winter. We live in Houston, but I, we don't have winter. But I would use, uh, this was my hot chocolate bar during that season. And now it's our coffee bar. Um, and these are my favorites. I've shown my coffee bar before, but I just love these cups. Um, I'll put a link below on where you can get them, but they are just gorgeous. They're really elegant. The spoon just sits right there. It's really cool. Really nice to serve. Um, this is just from Target. Um, so we just have this, the coffee filter. Uh, we don't drink coffee, so <laughs> this is obviously just for show because I drink tea. My husband doesn't drink anything really. Um, so this is just for guests. Um, but we have all the different containers for everything that they might need. Here's the coffee filters. Um, I do would drink like a cappuccino. So there's like this cappuccino mix where you just add hot water. I'll use that. This is where I would put milk if we have gas. Um, this is just um, some other stuff. And these are just some, um, some biscotti uh, that we like to dip in our hot chocolate or whatever we're drinking. So um, that's it. I just put these little um, vines in these little white things right here too and happy spring guys i wanted to show you my easter table skate one last time before it goes and thank you for bearing with me with my inventory full dining room <laughs> so you get a peek behind the scenes when us bloggers show you this sometimes this is what's happening on the side or in the back so <laughs> now you know um it was kind of cool to uh do a live with you guys I kind of enjoyed it, so I hope you guys did too. I will see you guys soon on the next one. Bye, guys.